Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today I'm going to do a little Lush haul and I'm also going to share a few of my Lush favorites with you. So not things that I'm hauling today but just some staple products that I've purchased over and over again and that I absolutely love from Lush. So if you're curious about that, stick around to the end of the video. Just have a couple of products to share with you there. But now we're gonna get into the unboxing. A bunch of these items were on sale after the holidays on Lush's website, and there are a whole bunch of new things in here that I've never tried before, so they're not necessarily new Lush products, just new to me. And a few things were very intriguing to me, so let's see what I got. The first thing that I see in here is this Melting Marshmallow Moments. It's a bath oil. It smells amazing. It reminds me of the scent of the bubblegum lip scrub, which is one of my favorites that you'll see at the end. But it smells so sweet, like candy. It's kind of shimmery. I don't know what kind of effect that will have in the bathtub, but I thought that this sounded so nice for like moisturizing my really sad dry winter skin. So I've never tried one of these bath oils from Lush before and I'm really excited to try this one because it smells incredible. I got this little sample of Bohemian soap. I have not used this kind before but I have used several of the Lush little soap bars and I think it's cool that they include these little samples. You get to try out something new. I actually have a Lush soap bar in my shower right now, so I'm not gonna open this one up yet just because I don't want it to dry out, but I will be putting this one to use. The next thing that I have are these little tabs. One is a steam tab and the other is a toner tab. This one is called Dream Steam and you're just supposed to put them under hot water and then let the steam go over your face. And this was so intriguing to me. I've never really seen a product like this before. I'm sure they exist, but I've definitely never used one. This one smells very kind of florally and almost herbal. It's a little bit rosy and I'm actually not like a huge rose scented fan, but this doesn't have the like old lady rose smell. This smells really good and really fresh. This one is the Tea Tree Toner Tab. And it works in the same way. You're just supposed to put it under hot water and then let the steam go over your face to work as a toner. I, I honestly don't know what to make of this, but I really wanted to try it. So I'll let you guys know how this works out. It sounds a little weird, but I'm always down to try something new. I love trying new skincare, so we'll see what this little tab can do. I did order one bath bomb. This is the Butterball Bath Bomb. I can't really tell you what it smells like. It's not super strong smelling. We'll just have to see what happens when it gets into the bath water. I know it's not the most exciting thing to look at. It's just like a plain, non-exciting <laughs> bath bomb. But you know, if you've used bath bombs, these are really fun. Next up, I have some soap. This is the Shooting Star Soap. And I don't know if you can tell, it has this like gold flake look on the sides. It's really pretty. It smells like lemons. It smells so fresh. This is gonna be a great way to like wake up in the shower with like a little citrus zing, you know? Mmm. Excited about that one too. Next up I have some bubble bars. I actually got two of the bright side bubble bars because they were buy one get one free so obviously I had to go for that deal. Look how pretty this thing is. It smells like orange candy. It just smells so good. I'm really liking all of these citrusy smells. Something about that is just like, it feels so clean and refreshing. The very last thing in my box is the candy cane roulade. And this was another one that was like buy one, get one half off, I think. I don't remember. But I did get two of these and I'm not going to completely take it out of the packaging because as you can see, it looks a little bit messy, but it looks like a candy cane. This just smells so pepperminty and fresh, and I really like peppermint all year round, especially in the winter, but I think peppermint's a classic scent, so you can't really go wrong with something nice and minty. 
and I've never actually used this before but I do love this kind of this style of their soaps so I know I'm gonna like this one so that's everything I ordered from the website if you've tried any of these products and especially if you have tips on how you like to use them or how they've worked for you please let me know in the comments like I said all of these products are new to me and I'm just sort of branching out into trying more things from Lush. As you will see from my favorites I'm about to share with you, everything that I have really, really loved and been committed to from Lush has been skincare type stuff. So I'm trying to get more into the bubble bar, bath bomb, that kind of scene, and just take a little bit more time out to actually enjoy a bath for myself, definitely leave a comment and let us know what your favorite things from Lush are. And now I'm going to show you my favorite things from Lush. The very first product that I was ever hooked on from Lush is the Oroma Toner Water. I can't tell you how much I love this stuff. If you have dry skin and you feel like toners just strip all the moisture out of your skin, try this one. My skin always feels so soft and amazing and not like stripped and squeaky after I use it. You know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. This has a lavender scent. It just, it feels great. It smells great. It's, this is my favorite toner. I don't use any other toner except this. Enough said. Another favorite from Lush is the Bubblegum Lip Scrub. I, this stuff's delicious. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna throw it out there. Yes, it's completely edible. The instructions say to rub it on your lips and then lick it away. They do have a bunch of different flavors. This is my favorite. I don't know what it is about this flavor. It's just like nostalgic almost. It just reminds me of like childhood happiness. I, that's probably, that probably sounds a little crazy to you, but I love this stuff. If you haven't tried it, just try it. Just go and like ask them for a sample. It's, it's amazing. Lastly, I have two masks that I love. The first is the cup of coffee mask, and this is also described as a body mask. I've really only ever used it on my face. This would definitely be a great body exfoliator too. I just personally haven't used it that way, but if you want to, you know, exfoliate your arms and legs, this mask would definitely do it for you. It does smell very, very strongly of coffee. It has legit coffee grounds in it. It is not a very appealing looking mask. I'll kind of give you a close up and show you. It's, it looks hideous, but it feels good. And I love the smell of coffee, so I think it smells good. But fair warning, if you don't like the smell of coffee, you will not like this. This smells very strongly of coffee. If you're a coffee freak, you gotta try this. Lastly, my favorite mask from Lush is the Mask of Magnanimity. It's, this feels so good. It is minty as the name implies and it feels a little bit tingly but it also feels moisturizing. It does a little bit of exfoliating. This mask is just like the all around go to. I go through this stuff so quickly and bonus, it is green and goopy and like weird looking so. I like to put it on and freak my husband out. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? I know I'm not alone. If you're like, I'm gonna go and try one face mask from Lush, try this one. This is my absolute favorite. That wraps up my little Lush haul and my Lush favorites. Make sure you let us know in the comments what your favorite things from Lush are, what do I need to add to my list? What do I need to try? I always love your suggestions. You guys give the best feedback. So thank you for that. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm. Keeping it real casual in the hoodie today. This is real life. Just full face of makeup and hoodie. Pretty much sums me up. So I guess I should talk about stuff now. That'd be cool. Hmm? We're gonna do it. That was so... Why can't you just be normal? No one will ever know. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that smells so good. Let's just get a wipe ready, because 
Mama's about to make a mess. Roll up your sleeves. Bubble gum, bubble gum, blah, blah, huh? Back in your little home. Treat yourself up. Get it together. Okay. For the life of me, I cannot rewrap these things. The Oroma Tona, Tona Wada? Tona Wada. No. You're ridiculous. It's snowing. No. Crap. I don't like winter, guys. I know some of you guys probably love it, but mm -mm. I love Hawaii where it was summer every day. Snow is a no-go for me. Great. Just be really loud while I'm filming. That's helpful. I swear this video is going to be more outtakes than actual footage. Typical. What? Like, what is that? What are you doing? I'm a hot mess, people. Wait, go back. Go back. Okay. Your arms and arms as legs as well. 